To news at home, and police have raided a Sydney church operating an illegal injecting room at the centre of a national heroin debate. One man was charged with drug possession and two others have been issued with notices to be in court next week. For more than a week, the Wayside Chapel has been openly offering the law a challenge and today police accepted it. It's a hard place for the, for the police to be in. They can't win whatever they do, but it's a shocking waste of police resources and uh, that ought to stop. One of the founders of the injecting room, Tony Trimmingham, who lost a son to heroin, visibly upset by the raid. I'm very emotional about this. I think this is total overkill. The police interviewed 25 people, five believed to be using heroin. Gathered evidence. We'll be considering that evidence in view of uh, further uh, action in relation to prosecution. Can you tell us of the nature of some of that evidence? No further. People taking drugs in there today? No further. The chapel at the centre of a national heroin debate plans to make a formal complaint about how police conducted the operation. The manner of their entry was uh, they just walked in and um, they did not stop when asked to do so by the uh, private security guard. I don't think it was at all necessary to intimidate people and to push staff aside. Despite today's police action, the injecting room could be open again by Friday. The directors of the Wayside Chapel meeting tomorrow to discuss if they'll continue defying the authorities.